we've been out in the public campaigning what little bit we can. Sam is pretty much a social butterfly, so she really likes to get out in crowds. She does like a lot of attention like most of the politicians do. The town of Fairhaven elects an honorary pet mayor. I guess I can say it was my idea. And the, the school children benefit from this program. We're raising a little bit of money to replace the playground, and it's a good civics lesson for our elementary school kids. My name is Dale Kerber. I'm the sergeant with the Fairhaven Police Department. My canine partner here is Sammy. She's been with the police department for five years, and she's running for the office of honorary pet mayor for the town of Fairhaven. The responsibilities of the mayor are to manage the funds for the playground, to raise funds for the playground through events in town, and from time to time come in and make sure the select board is doing their job. We have three big candidates. We have Sammy, Sammy the police dog, Lincoln the goat, the incumbent, and Murphy, who is a service dog. Murphy the service dog reads to the children over at the elementary school. Sammy decided to throw her hat in the ring because, quite frankly, Lincoln needed a challenger. And as it turns out, there's been several candidates have come forward as a result of Sammy throwing her hat in the ring. I think it's just going to be good for the, the town that they have good options for voting. Politics in America have become very divisive. This event, the mayoral election, has really brought the community together, like nothing else has since I've been here in the last couple of years. There's no mudslinging here. Come on! I'm Christopher Stanton. And I'm Sally Stanton. And we are the owners of Lincoln. We're not concerned about her losing. If one of the other pets wins, that's fine. We'll continue to work together to support the playground. And it really doesn't matter who's the mayor, uh, as long as we had a, a good turnout and a lot of people were involved. I'm excited to vote for Brown Dog. I'm excited to vote for Peaches because she's adorable. I want Lincoln to win the selection. It's kind of taken an, the negativity out of the, the voting process. All the candidates have gotten along. Uh, I talk to all the kids in the school on a daily basis, and the, the kids are honest with me. They'll come up and tell me, you know, I'm not voting for your, for your dog, I'm voting for this pet. And I'm like, that's great, I'm glad you, you're doing that. Um, we don't see any negativity going on. Right now, it's really anybody's race. We did take a straw poll last week in the elementary school, and it appeared that Sammy might be the front runner, but uh, it's anybody's race. If Sammy were to not win the election or happen to lose, I don't think she's going to take it personally. She still will feel the same way about her position here. She's going to feel the same way about the other candidates, and she will respect the decision uh, made by the, uh, the voters of Fairhaven. Thank you so much for voting today. Good morning, Fairhaven Grade School. This is Miss Paquette. All is well. I'm just coming on to talk about our pet mayor election. I am now going to put on Joe Gunter, our town manager, to announce who the new mayor is. Uh, this year's mayoral winner is Murphy the Dog with 146 votes. Murphy cool. the Dog. Murphy That's earned it. Like Murphy was campaigning all day yesterday, handing out candy. Yeah. You know, Murphy comes here every week with the caring canines and sits with our kids. So yep. they worked hard yep. for this. Murphy deserved it. 